So I've owned the Sony A80J OLED TV for around two and a half years now, having purchased this 65 inch model back in 2021. In this long term review I'm going to discuss my experience of using this TV on a daily basis for movies, TV and gaming on the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Overall this has been a great purchase for me. The picture quality has been fantastic but there have been a few minor negatives that we'll come on to. I'll also discuss how it's holding up in terms of screen burning and image retention. First up I still love the minimal industrial design style of the A80J. I have the feet configured at the lowest setting for the cleanest look. The supplied remote control is functional but is twice the size it really needs to be. On the back of the TV I have a 5 meter LED light strip from Govi that goes all around the edges of the panel. This is controlled via the Govi mobile app and looks awesome when playing games or watching regular TV but I do turn it off when watching movies. Specs wise the A80J is pretty much standard for a premium OLED TV. It's a 4K panel with HDR, Dolby Vision, VRR and 120Hz refresh rate. However it only has two HDMI 2.1 ports, one of which is the eARC port, so this isn't ideal if you have two games consoles. When I first got this TV I only had a PS5 so it wasn't really an issue, but now I have an Xbox Series X as well. However as a workaround you can manually switch the HDMI cables or use the HDMI 2.1 splitter. Apart from the HDMI limitations, gaming on the A80J has been awesome. Performance has been excellent and games are nice and responsive with input lag coming in at around 16 milliseconds at 4K60. If you have a PS5 the A80J auto detects the console so you're straight into game mode when you fire it up. There's also an auto HDR calibration feature tailor made for the PS5. That being said there have been a couple of negatives when gaming. The ABL dimming kicks in sometimes which can be slightly annoying. I've mostly noticed this when playing Forza and GT7. Thankfully this doesn't happen too often, but it does occur from time to time with games that have a lot of on-screen graphics. I've also noticed some temporary image retention when gaming on this TV, again from playing games with lots of graphics like Apex Legends. However it always disappears after a short while, so is isn't anything to worry about. I've done a ton of HDR gaming on this TV, and after two and a half years there are zero signs of any burning, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. For TV and movie streaming the A80J has been a fantastic performer. Picture quality is superb, with the black levels and contrast you'd expect from an OLED TV. The XR image processor really does a fantastic job, images look detailed yet natural at the same time. Of course you'd expect 4K HDR video to look great, but the A80J also does an exceptional job with regular 1080p streaming. Colour accuracy is another strong point of this TV. It looks great right out of the box when using the custom picture mode and Expert One colour temperature. For regular SDR TV viewing, you can just leave it on these settings and not have to worry about it again. Dolby Vision movies and TV shows look incredible on this TV. You have Dolby Vision bright and dark modes to choose from, depending on if you have any ambient light in your room. HDR brightness is good but not great and this is the only minor complaint I have with the otherwise awesome picture quality of this TV. Before I had the A80J, I had a full array LCD TV that had noticeably brighter HDR highlights. Now don't get me wrong, I far prefer the OLED, picture quality is significantly better overall and HDR content looks excellent, but I do sometimes wish that the HDR highlights had a little more impact. Now I know peak brightness was never the strong point of OLED TVs, however now we're in 2024 there are much brighter panel options available with QD OLED and MLA technology. So to conclude I'd say the A80J has been a fantastic buy for me. Even after two and a half years I still appreciate this stellar image quality when watching movies or playing video games. Now I have two games consoles I do wish it had more HDMI 2.1 ports and I would like it to be a little brighter at times, but really these are only the minor complaints I have about an overall excellent TV. So whilst there might be better and brighter OLEDs on the market now, I have no plans to upgrade my A80J for another 2 or 3 years. And that's a wrap for this video. Like and subscribe for more tech reviews, you can also find me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching.